All right, let's do this. Here's how we can write to a file in C. Let's create a file pointer. The data type is file, and I'll name this PF. It's a pointer to a file. And I will set this equal to, then invoke the F open function. We will pass in a name we would like to give our file. Let's name this test.txt. But if you would like this to be a different file extension, such as HTML, well, you can change it to that then. Uh, we'll keep this as a plain text file just to keep it simple. And to write to a file, there is a second argument, a mode. So this could be W for write, A for append, R for read, but we are looking for W for now. So it is good practice at the end of your program to close any files that are open. So we will use the F close function and pass in our pointer, P F. Make sure to not dereference it. Now to write a line of text to our file, we can use f print f, pass in our pointer, pf, do not dereference it, and then some string of text. Let's say SpongeBob SquarePants. So this file will be created in the same folder as my C program. So after running this, we have a new text file within the same folder, and it says SpongeBob SquarePants. What if I run this again and write something different? like Patrick star. So if the mode is W, then we will actually overwrite any existing data already within this file. If we need to append a file, we can use the A mode for append. So this time, let's append some text to the end of our document. SpongeBob SquarePants. And you'll have to keep track of any new lines that you add too. So if I run this again, and this time I am appending some text, well, Patrick Star is still there, and we appended SpongeBob SquarePants to the end of our file. Now, if you would like to delete a file, here's how. I'm going to turn all of this into one giant comment. Let's use a little bit of file detection. Let's check to see if our file does exist. Within our if statement, let's invoke the remove method and we will pass in the name or location to our file, test.txt. If we remove this file successfully, it will return zero. So if after invoking the remove function, if this returns zero, that's its exacode, that means that file was deleted successfully. Let's print a message to let the user know. That file was deleted successfully else we will print a different message. Printf, that file was not deleted. Okay, let's try this. So here's my file within the same folder. If I run this, that file was deleted successfully, and that file is no longer within the same folder. You can see here that this says deleted. And if I run this again, we will not be able to locate that file because it's not there. Now you can write a file to a different location. Let's say I would like to write a file to my desktop. I can set a relative file path or an absolute file path. I'll use an absolute file path. I'm going to get the file location of my desktop. So I'm just going to click on one of these folders, go to properties and copy this location. So with my file name, I'm going to precede this with an absolute file path then any backslashes might need to be double backslashes. So this time, if I write a file, then this file will appear at this location on my desktop. And here's that file, test.txt, and it says SpongeBob SquarePants. Well, all right, everybody, that is how to write, append, and delete files in C. If you found this video helpful, be sure to help me out by smashing that like button, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.